Come here. Come here, Sulu. Come up here. Sulu, come here, bud. All right. Per the request of someone on my uh, YouTube page, Iris, uh, I want to thank you for your request. Uh, you, I was asking for what, what you guys would like to see as far as videos and things like that. And, I, you know, I've expanded out of the, the theme park realm a little bit, and um, I want to do more. So I wanted to talk to you guys today. She requested that I talk to you about uh, Sulu, which is this guy right here. My little uh, Dachshund Beagle mix who's trying to lick my face, and I don't want that right now. But Sulu is my Dachshund Beagle mix buddy. Um, we got him about a year ago. Um, he's four years old. He's a good dog, and uh, he's in a, he's adopted. He's an adopted pet. Uh, we picked him up at a local shelter, and I'll talk more about that in a minute here. Now, going into this, I've always had dogs my whole life, uh, pretty much. There was a short period there where I didn't have a dog, and I always had dachshunds. And Caitlin... Per the request of Iris on uh, the comments on our YouTube page, on, one, on my first video here with, the, uh, with asking you guys what direction I should go in, uh, she asked if I could talk about uh, my adoption process, or my process here for getting Sulu. And um, I want to talk about that now. Um, and I want to give you a little background about me and dogs. And this is Sulu. He's my Dachshund Beagle mix. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. So I've always had dogs my whole life. I've always had dachshunds. I had a uh, dachshund growing up when I was a kid, and I had two growing up when I was older. And we had a little break there when I was a kid, uh, a teenager, where we didn't have any dachshunds. And then we finally, we convinced my mother to get one again. Because, you know, you lose a pet, and it hurts, and you don't want to get another one. So we've had dogs. I've been around dogs my whole life. I love dogs. Um, I picked um, my first... Uh, the, uh, the dog that I my my uh, second uh, dog Gordon, he um, we picked him up at a, there's a lady just selling dogs, and we uh, picked him up and he was the runt of the litter and um, come and um, this is a, a sad story that turns out positive, he was the runt of the litter and turned out to be that he was very sick, and the lady that we brought bought him from, we called her to tell her because we took him to the vet the next day he was very sick he was getting sick and all kinds of stuff so we took him to the vet the next day and uh, we told the lady hey look he's really sick and the lady didn't believe us at first and she wanted to do all these crazy things which I'm not gonna say on camera because um, it's just it's not it's 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 it was bad it was really really bad she you know she did not believe us in the things that she wanted us to provide to so she would believe us uh, we're just crazy and we um, we didn't want her to know so that she would believe us and like give us our money back or something we wanted her to know because we just wanted the other dogs to be safe but this but my little guy Gordon had parvo when he was just a young boy he had parvo and if you don't know about parvo it's basically a stomach infection and dogs get it and it makes them um, you know have problems and things like that and they, they generally have a 50-50 chance of living. Well, my Gordon survived, and he was just a, he's just a good boy, and he's still alive now, and uh, he's like 12 or 13. He's just a rock-solid dog, just a good, 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 good dog. I just saw him this past weekend. Awesome, awesome, awesome dog, and I love him so much, and uh, it was just really cool to see him, and uh, I, I love him so much, so we've been through a lot together. But uh, Gordon, you know, ever since I had Gordon, I felt like uh, my next dog was going to be a, a, a shelter dog. I wanted to get a shelter dog. I wanted to save a dog's life. You know, you can donate all the money you want to PETA and ASPCA and all these organizations. But I figure if you're go not going to save a dog's life, then what's the point? If I donate all the money in the world to the ASPCA and I don't take a dog off their hands and help out with the, with, you know, by take doing my part in taking care of a dog or getting a dog from there when I want a dog, you know, because that's, you know, puppy mills and things like that, I'm totally against. Um, all these places where you buy puppies in like a store, I'm totally against that. Breeders, I'm against breeders. We have too many dogs. We need to, we need to curb the population. We need to spay and neuter our pets. And we need to we need to pick from shelters. We need to clean out the shelters first um, before we start going to breeders and things like that. And I think we have a little bit of an 
of an epidemic with dogs and cats, especially cats. Um, we need to get that in check and, and pull from those places. So uh, I told my wife that I wanted to get a dog from the shelter and I told her to look around and uh, we went on PetFinder.com. Excellent website, PetFinder. It searches all the rescues and areas and tells you uh, what pets are available. And we came across this little guy. Um, I don't think his name was Sulu. I don't remember what his name was when we got him, actually. It was like Flash or something like that. I don't know. It, it was something weird. Um, but we uh, saw him, and um, my wife had grown up with beagles, and I had grown up with dachshunds, and Sulu is a dachshund beagle mix, so it was the perfect compromise for us because he has the face of the beagle and like the body of a dachshund. So uh, it, was an, it was an awesome, awesome compromise. So we decided to go... Uh, he'd set in the thing for about a week or so before we could actually go out and get him because it was kind of far away. And we sca we called up the, the adoption place. It was a South Lake Animal League, I think is what it was. South Lake Animal League, I think is what it was called. And they looked him up. Uh, they are in like past Claremont. If you live in Orlando, South Lake Animal League, they're in like Claremont. They're like way out there in the sticks. But they have there are no-kill shelter. They don't kill the pets. And uh, they have a lot of pets that need, and they need. They always need volunteers and and food and things like that too, and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So they are a great organization. So we called them on the phone, and we went down, and we said, "Hey, look, we're going to come and do a visitation on Saturday, and a pickup." And you know, when you do a visitation, you want to see that everything's going to work. And I'm gonna let Sulu go because he's freaking out. You want to know that everything's going to work. You want to know that. Um, you know he's gonna fit in with your family you want to know that all that's gonna work so when you go visit your pet for the first time at the shelter you got to check all those things out make sure you guys get along all this great stuff so we went down there everything was okay um, you know our daughter was a little like she was a little weird um, but you know she eventually she loves him just as she's she loves him so much now so there's nothing wrong there um, it was it was a pretty great experience. We instantly fell in love with him when we saw him, um, and then we went to uh, then we went to go fill out the paperwork. And really, with the paperwork, I mean, we filled out an I should have mentioned we filled out an application first, and we put we put down uh, three references. I put down my parents and a few other people. And I think I put down my brother, my parents, and so on and so forth. And they called them, and of course, you know, I'm, me having dogs before and me loving dogs, they were like, oh, he's great, nothing wrong there, perfect. You know, they, they, they called one of my, oh, shoot. The joys of recording with a dog, the camera gets knocked over. So, we, they called my parents um, and asked them, you know, for a reference, and reference was fine. Everything was okay, and we, um, they, they said, okay, you can come down. It took about, mm, it took like almost a day, but it could have been, uh, it took about a day, two days to actually, because they were like closed. They have like weird hours. They're not open like on Sundays or something. It was weird hours. I don't know. We, it was weird hours. So, um, we, we did that. It took them about a day, I would say, a couple days to get the, to get the, to get, to get, you know, all the references checked in and all that stuff. And we did that. And then they, they called us back on the phone and said, okay, you guys are okay. You're approved. You know, they, they may basically make sure you, you ha you're fit enough to take care of a dog. So we went down there. We checked them out. Everything was fine. I talked to you about the, the meeting him process. And uh, we filled out the application online. I should have mentioned that too. We filled out the application online. It wasn't that big of a deal. It took me like 15 minutes. No big deal at all. We filled out the application online. And then we went down there. And we saw him. We fell in love. And uh, we picked him up. Uh, Skip. That was his name beforehand. Skip. But we, but now he's Sulu. Um, so we picked him up. We learned a little bit about his history. That he came in. He had heartworms and all this stuff. And my heart was breaking for him. And I had to have him. And he was just a good boy. And He's very excited and hyper and so on and so forth. So, <laughs> funny story. Uh, we get to this shelter and it's like in the woods. It's like in the woods. It's like you got to drive down a dirt road to get there. It's in the woods. 
there was like there there's like a nice there's huge fields around it and all this stuff so uh we brought a collar to put on sulu when we got there and they had a harness on him when we got there and he he was he's fast sulu is a fast dog he's just extremely fast it's just he's hard to catch if he starts going you got to get him and get him quick or you'll never be able to get him so while we're sitting at the um shelter uh, my wife is filling out the paperwork and handling all that and i'm getting this collar onto sulu and we get this collar on sulu and i start to walk him and the collar was too big even on like the the tightest setting and the collar falls off and he just bolts and then some lady unsuspecting unexpectedly uh, she didn't know that this was going to happen she opens the door and he runs out the door so he has no collar no tag nothing he runs out the door um he he runs out the door and into this giant field and it's like a whole thing and like all of us are chasing after him the staff everybody it was so crazy it was like the funniest thing ever everyone's just like freaking out like trying to get this dog this lady comes out and says stop everyone who's not staff stop so then we all stop and then the, the staff goes after him and he goes to go to the bathroom and he freezes up for a minute and then bam that's when they catch him and they bring him back and um we go back inside and i say okay this ain't gonna fit so then we tell the rescue okay we'll donate the collar if you give us the harness so we gave them the harness and um we are we gave they gave us the harness and we gave them the collar so now the collar that he's wearing is actually from the shelter and i kind of like that it's kind of a reminder of where he came from um and you know uh it, it it's always there you know to give him a little extra love because i don't know what his story was before he came to the shelter i he was just surrendered so i don't know if they you know what was going on there if the family couldn't handle him or what so it's it's just a reminder hey look you know he's a good boy and and i love him very much and he's definitely a part of our family and i highly suggest if you're looking to get a pet check your local shelters a lot of shelters are not non-kill shelters they will euthanize these puppies and um and cats so it's your your county shelters things like that will do that and sometimes it's like a week like they get a pet and then they don't have someone who's the owner in like a week they they euthanize and it's it's sad so if you see an animal and you like it um put a bid in call them tell them you want to come down uh give them you know look on pet finder find a pet tell them you want to come down and take a look you know you're definitely saving an animal's life and it, me it means a lot to me and it means a lot to them and uh you're, you're doing good you know you're gonna get a pet anyways might as well save a dog's life and most of the time you know you can find um that that animal that um that you know that becomes the star of your family and um one of the things that i really uh enjoy too in uh is the Pets Ahoy show at SeaWorld, just a side note. And one of the things that they do at the Pets Ahoy show is all the pets that they have at that show are brought from local shelters and so on and so forth. So that's really cool that they do that at SeaWorld and it's cool that we have Sulu and it just proves that these dogs have still have lives, Sulu. These dogs still have lives, he's being crazy. These dogs still have a lot of love to give and all they wanna do is give love. You know, I look at him every day and all he wants to do is give love. Sometimes he's bad. Um, sometimes he, you know, he'll steal some food or something, but he's a dog. But at the end of the day, all he wants to do is love and be loved. And, you know, I feel every time I look at these videos of um, animals at shelters or pictures of animals at shelters, I just look at their eyes and, I, and it brings tears to my eyes because it's like, you know, I, I just can't, I see these, these amazing faces and I, and I look and I say, why, why doesn't someone love them enough? Why doesn't someone, you know, who is the person that didn't love him enough to want to keep him? Who is the person that didn't love him? Even these dogs that are older and, and need medical care and these people are, are, you know, turning them in because of that. Who is the family that didn't love this dog enough to, 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 to stay, stay with him? So 
it's it's sad when you think about it that way but i i i do think about it that way i think i think as much you know they're they love us as much as we love them and it's you know it's time that we show them love because all they want to do is be loved and uh, they're amazing animals and sulu is an amazing animal he's an amazing creature he's an amazing dog he can be a pain in the butt sometimes and he may not get along with everyone in the family sometimes but when he come when i come in the door and the first thing that he does is he runs to the door and he just is so happy to see me and he wants to he wants to just you know be petted by me and all these things that just that there's no i mean the only thing that's greater than that i think joy wise is when ella does the same thing my daughter does the same thing um you know so i i just it's it's yeah so i um you know and it's those two things my daughter and my and my dog and you know if you don't have a kid the dog could easily take the place so that being said spread a little love today spay and neuter your pets you know keep an eye on that spay and neuter your pets make sure they're taken care of don't give up on your pets pets are forever forever um don't give up on them if they're old they're sick you can get help. People can help you. You can get help. That dog wants to be yours forever. Imagine, you know, you know, you're older and you just get taken away and you don't know what's going on. A lot of these pets older, they don't know what's going on. They're losing their vision, all these things. So stick with your pets. Stick with them. Keep them to the end and you'll have a friend forever. All right, guys. Until next time. See ya.